As you researched the book and looked at the picture globally, what did, what did you find on the sort of success-failure ratio? Uh, if we take a look at countries in Europe, there's a tremendous amount of success. I think the record, as you are well aware, is that worker cooperatives are as successful as any other company, as any other firm, business, if they get the capital, if they get the new technology, if they are able to compete in the same types of markets. Uh, and in many cases, they are. In the United States and many countries in Western Europe, you have the tendency for them to have low scale. The scale is not great. So you may have a lot of cooperatives, but how many workers are actually involved in it is a question that we need to ask if we want to be honest. Tony Benn was an honest person. He recognized that even big companies could not compete if they didn't get the capital. So therefore, Triumph went out of business because he was honest with the workers and told them, we can't do it. In many cases, they're operating against all odds and that the worker cooperatives, the kinds that we support in the United States and elsewhere, are very good examples of how important it is to have worker solidarity, equality of conditions, no extraction of surplus by some outsider. However, there are very few examples, and those examples uh, do not have the scale that we have uh, in major companies. So the, the president is not going to bail out uh, new, uh, new Era Windows, uh, but it might he might bail out uh, Pella windows or Anderson windows.